Good morning. Welcome to Resurrection Lutheran Cooperative Ministry on this Saturday morning. I'm so glad you're able to join me as we begin our day with the word of the Lord. So let us begin. O Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Give glory to the coming King. O come, let us worship him. O come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us shout for joy to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and raise a loud shout to him with psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hands are the caverns of the earth. The heights of the hills are also his. The sea is his, for he made it, and his hands have molded the dry land. O come, let us bow down and bend the knee and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is our God, and we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Give glory to the coming King. O come, let us worship him. Our psalm today is Psalm 90. Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to another before the mountain was brought forth, or the land or the earth were born for the age to age, you are God. You turn us back to the dust and say, go back, O child of earth. For a thousand years in your sight are like yesterday when it is past. And like a watch in the night, you sweep us away like a dream. We fade away suddenly like the grass. In the morning it is green and flourishes. In the evening it is dried up and withered. For we consume away in your displeasure. We are afraid because of your wrathful indignation. Our in iniquities you have set before you and our secret sins in the light of your countenance. When you are angry, all our days are gone. We bring our years to an end like a sigh. The span of our life is 70 years, perhaps in strength even 80. Yet the sum of them is but labor and sorrow, for they pass away quickly and we are gone. Who regards the power of your wrath, who rightly fears your indignation? So teach us to number our days, that we may apply our hearts to wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long will you tarry? Be gracious to your servants. Satisfy us by your loving kindness in the morning, so shall we rejoice and be glad all the days of our lives. Make us glad by the measure of the days that you uh, that you afflict us, and the years in which we suffer adversity. Show us your servants, show your servants your work and your splendor uh, to your children. May the graciousness of the Lord our God be upon us. Prosper the work of our hands and prosper our handiwork. Let us pray. Eternal God of our mortal race, in Jesus Christ, your grace has come upon us. For his sake, prosper the work of our hands until he returns to gladden our hearts forever. Amen. Well, we continue in Isaiah in the fourth chapter for our first reading, beginning with verse two. In that day, the branch of the Lord shall be beautiful and glorious and the fruit of the land shall be a pride and glory of the survivors of Israel. And he who is left in Zion and remains in Jerusalem will be called holy, every one who has been recorded for the life in Jerusalem. When the Lord shall have washed away the filth of the daughters of Zion and cleansed the bloodstains of Jerusalem from its midst by a spirit of judgment and by a spirit of burning, then the Lord will create all over the whole site of Mount Zion and over her assemblies a cloud by day and smoke and shining of a flame, flaming fire by night for over all the glory there will be a canopy and a pavilion. It will be for a shade by day from the heat and for a refuge and a shelter from the storm and rain. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our second reading comes from 1 Thessalonians, the fourth chapter, beginning with verse 13. But we would not have you ignorant, brethren, concerning those who are asleep, that you may not grieve as others do uh, who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, though uh, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. For this we declare to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, shall not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend upon heaven with a cry of command, with the archangel's call, and with the sound of the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive... Who are left shall be brought, be caught up together with them in the cloud to meet the Lord in the air. And so we shall all always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. And our Holy Gospel today comes from St. Luke, the 21st chapter. Glory to you, O Lord. 
And as some spoke in the temple how it was adorned with noble stones and offerings, he said, As for these things which you see, the day will come when these, when there will not be left here one stone upon another that will not be thrown down. And they asked him, Teacher, when will this be? And when uh, what will be the sign when this was is about to take place? And he said, Take heed that you are not led astray, for many will come in my name, saying, I am he, and the time is at hand. Do not go after them. And when you hear the word of, the, of wars and tumults, do not be terrified, for, the must, for this must first take place, but the end will not be at once. Then he said to them, Nations will rise up against nations and kingdom against kingdom. There will be great earthquakes and in various places famines and pestilences, and there will be terrors and great signs from heaven. But before all this, uh, they, they will lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you, you up to the synagogues and prisons, and you will be brought before the kings and governors for my name's sake. This will be a time for you to bear testimony. Settle it, therefore, in your minds not to meditate beforehand how to answer, for I will give you a mouth and wisdom, uh, and, and wisdom which none of your adversaries will be able to withstand or contradict. You will be delivered up even by parents and brothers and kinsmen and friends, and some of that you they will put to death. You will be hated by all for my name's sake, but not a hair of your head will perish. By your endurance, you will gain your lives. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Oh, this gospel of our Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In many and various ways, God spoke to the people of old by the prophets. But now in these last days, he has spoken to us by his son. Fear not, Mary, you have found favor with the Lord. Behold, you shall conceive and bear a son. Alleluia. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He, is, he has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty savior born of the house of his servant, David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. <clears throat> Fear not, Mary, you have found favor with the Lord. Behold, you shall conceive and bear a son. Alleluia. Let us pray. God, our Father, you loved the world so much you gave your only Son to free us from the ancient power of sin and death. Help us who wait for his coming and lead us to true liberty. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. O Lord, almighty and everlasting God, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we might not fall into sin, nor be overcome in adversity. And in all that we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord Almighty bless us and direct our days and our deeds in his peace. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this Saturday morning. I hope you have a safe and blessed day and hope to see you tomorrow too. God bless you. Bye-bye.